coral reefs. Traveling throughout our planet, there are countless numbers of natural wonders that you can see. From mountains and deserts to rainforests and tundras, our world has some fascinating places that you can visit. But having said this, there is one natural wonder that is especially interesting if you are a swimmer or interested in water. That natural wonder is the coral reef. Coral reefs are some of the most fascinating natural wonders on our planet. Whether you are planning your next scuba dive trip in a tropical location or simply want to learn more about coral reefs, let's explore why coral reefs are so interesting. In doing so, I'm sure that you'll see the beauty and wonder in coral reefs. Why Coral Reefs Are So Fascinating Any discussion of coral reefs starts with its appearance. If you were to look at a coral reef when swimming or in a book, you'll immediately notice how beautiful they are. Coral reefs have many different bright colors. The color will vary depending on their proteins. But you can find coral reefs in colors like red, blue, green, and purple. When swimming, you'll be able to notice their bright colors very quickly. But beyond coral reefs' colors, let's talk about what they actually are. Looking at them for the first time, it's easy to think that coral reefs are just a collection of rocks and plants gathered in one place. They are much more than that. Coral reefs are underwater ecosystems. You can think of them as rainforests of the seas. While they are found in less than 0.1% of the world's ocean area, coral reefs have at least 25% of all marine species. You can find plenty of sea creatures on coral reefs, including animals like sponges, mollusks, fish, worms, and more. These animals like to stay on or near coral reefs, and this is especially true when they are in ocean waters with few nutrients. This is because coral reefs provide shelter during the day and make great hunting grounds at night. Coral reefs also help the ocean by maintaining its carbon level. They act as a water filtration unit. This means that coral reefs are constantly working hard to make water livable for all types of sea creatures. Coral reefs can trace their beginnings back to 485 million years ago. Many coral reefs were formed when melting ice caused sea levels to rise and flood continental shelves around the world. While you could go all the way back to 485 million years ago to see the first coral reef, most coral reefs today are less than 10,000 years old. There are several different types of coral reefs. Specifically, they include fringing reefs, barrier reefs, platform reefs, atolls, apron reefs, and more. You can find coral reefs in many different places around the world. Many of them are found in the Indo-Pacific region, which includes the Indian Ocean, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific Ocean. That said, one of the most famous coral reefs is the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is located off the coast of Australia. It actually has 2,900 individual reefs and 900 miles that stretch over nearly 3,000 kilometers. If you're looking for a large coral reef that is closer to the United States, you'll probably want to travel to Bermuda. When you look at coral reefs themselves, it's important to recognize that they are actually made out of living creatures. Coral reefs are made of coral. And corals themselves? They are colonies of small animals that are located within things called calcium carbonate shells. Corals actually reproduce, meaning that their children can grow and make the reef even more beautiful. While coral reefs provide plenty of benefits to fish and oceans as a whole, they also help humans. Specifically, plants and animals that are found on coral reefs have been found to treat a wide range of human diseases. Some of those diseases include arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, heart disease, viruses, cancer, and bacterial infections, 
and more. So, when you get older, some of the medicine you may be taking could be from elements found on coral reefs. Even though coral reefs provide many different benefits to humans, the fact remains that humans are some of the biggest threats to coral reefs. Humans harm coral reefs in many different ways. For example, when humans dig canals across islands and bays, they may permanently harm nearby coral reefs. Excessive fishing is also a major concern. When humans are overfishing a coral reef, they may be doing long-term damage to the reef itself. More indirectly, the warming of the oceans from climate change doesn't help coral reefs. Combining all of these factors, you can see how coral reefs are in danger. All of us need to work together to protect these precious parts of our seas. Wonderful Ecosystems Found Around the World Coral reefs are complex ecosystems that are essential parts of our planet's waters. They produce food, medicine, and even tourism. They provide so much value to our world, so it is important that we invest time and energy into keeping them alive. Whether you have already seen a coral reef in person, or are looking to see one in the future, I encourage you to take the time and admire these fascinating parts of our world. Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. everybody and follow me from the beach to the cold or in the sea it's time for learning it's time for fun it's a great adventure for everyone come on everybody and follow me jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea it's time for adventure fun and learning scuba jack it's a shark attack Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from The Adventures of Scuba Jack. Please comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video with Activity Book. See you soon.